Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on neonatal zondis. If you like the video, please subscribe to this channel. Question number 1. Causes of neonatal zondis are Option A. Polycythemia B. Hemolytic disease C. G6 PD deficiency D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. All of the above. Polycythemia, hemolytic disease, and G6PD deficiency are the causes of neonatal zondage. Next question Pathological zondage occurs option A after 24 hours of life. B. Within 24 hours of life. C. After 72 hours of life. D. All of the above. Right answer is option B. Within 24 hours of life. When the appearance of jaundice occurs within 24 hours, peak bilirubin levels above the expected normal range and presence of clinical jaundice beyond 3 weeks is known as pathological zondes. Next question. Physiological zondes occurs option A after 24 hours of life, B between 72 to 96 hours of life, C within 24 hours of life, D none of the above. Right answer is Option A after 24 hours of life. Most neonates develop visible jaundice due to elevation of unconjugated bilirubin concentration after 24 hours of life. This common condition is known as physiological jaundice. Next question A nurse observes yellowish skin color of an infant whose mother had a caesarean birth. What is the immediate nursing action? Option A. Notify the healthcare provider. B. Take a heel sample and send it to the laboratory. C. Ascertain how many hours ago the neonate was born. D. Place the neonate under phototherapy. Right answer is Option C. A certain how many hours ago the neonate was born. At first we have to check the date of birth of the neonate for finding out whether it is physiological or pathological zondage. Next question. Which of the following is the most common cause of zondage within first 24 hours of life? Option A. Bowel obstruction. B. Biliary atresia, C. Rh incompatibility, D. Abio incompatibility. Right answer is option C. Rh incompatibility. Rh incompatibility is the most common cause of jaundice within first 24 hours of life. Next question. Physiological jaundice clinically not detectable after Option A 7 days B 5 days C 6 days D 14 days Right answer is Option D 14 days After 14 days, physiological jaundice is clinically not detectable Next question Carnicterous affects which organ? Option A. Brain B. Kidney C. Heart D. Liver Right answer is Option A. Brain Carnicterous is a complication of neonatal zondes. The word carnicterous means yellow kern. Kern being the structures of the brain that are most commonly affected. The structures of the brain which are affected in carnicterous are 
the vessel ganglia, hippocampus, geniculate bodies and cranial nerve nuclei, especially the oculomotor, vestibular and cochlear. The cerebellum can be also affected in carnicterus. It is the presence of yellow staining and damage to the brain caused by unconjugated bilirubin when the bilirubin level is greater than 20 mg per dl. Next question. Pathological jaundice criteria includes all except option A more than 14 days persistence, B clay colored stool, C appears after 24 hours of life, D conjugated bilirubin more than 2 mg per dl. Right answer is option C appears after 24 hours of life. If jaundice appears after 24 hours of life, then it is called physiological jaundice, not pathological jaundice. All are the criteria of pathological jaundice. Next question. Which index is used to detect neonatal jaundice? Option A. Kramers B. Bread and Scale C. Rule of 9 D. GCS Right answer is Option A. Kramers Kramers rule or index is used to detect neonatal jaundice. Bread and Scale is used for pressure ulcer risks and Rule of 9 is used for estimation of total body surface area and Glasgow comma scale or GCS scale is used to assess the level of consciousness of patients. Next question What is the serum bilirubin level in pathological jaundice? Option A greater than 2 mg per dl, B greater than 15 mg per dl, C less than 15 mg per dl. D less than 2 mg per dl. Right answer is option B greater than 15 mg per dl. The serum bilirubin level in pathological jaundice is greater than 15 mg per dl. So, this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.